Here's how to lucid dream in less than one minute, 60 seconds. Now it's gonna take a very small amount of setup, but once we've done this setup, it will be very easy and straightforward and it will make a lot of sense for you. It should work for you first time, but if not, it should work within the first two or three nights that you try this. So firstly, you need to spend the rest of the day thinking about lucid dreaming and just trying to get yourself inspired and motivated about doing this and really excited about what you're going to be doing. And there's a few ways of doing that. You can be watching movies about it, you can watch videos on YouTube, like what does lucid dreaming look like? Or just look at some travel videos, just something to inspire you and get you into that dreamlike state. Now you can do reality checks throughout the day, which is where you test whether you're dreaming or not, but this is not essential. This is kind of a beginner technique, which relies on basically surprising your subconscious mind and making sure that you lucid dream in less than one minute. So you don't have to do reality checks throughout the day, but you can if you want a quick bonus and if you want to make it more likely. The main technique really begins in the night. So set your alarm to go off about two or three hours after you've gone to sleep. So let's say if you go to bed at 9 p.m., you would set your alarm to go off at midnight. If you go to bed at midnight, your alarm would go off at 3 a.m. Now it's gonna be targeting your REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement sleep. I'm sure you've heard this before, but this is when you lucid dream. And this is when it's more likely that you will be able to enter a lucid dream if you wake yourself up just before your REM sleep and actually try and lucid dream at that time. It's gonna be so much more likely if you do that. The reason we're gonna target the REM sleep about two or three cycles into the night, sleep cycles into the night, is because that is when the dreams can probably be more stable and they're likely to last the longest as well. However, what this will do is it will interrupt your sleep after your deep sleep cycle and you will actually get less deep sleep throughout the entire night if you do this. So make sure you don't need to do anything the next day because you might feel a bit tired after you've done this technique. I would not recommend doing this every single night of the week, but about once a week is fine. If you want to lucid dream in one minute, if you just wanna get that quick results and have this experience quickly, this is the best way to do it. So when your alarm goes off, you can wake up, you can stand up if you want to, but you don't have to. Just keep your eyes closed and then you're gonna go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. This is when you really need to start setting your intention powerfully and making sure that you're focused on the act of remembering to do a reality check later on. You need to engage your prospective memory, which is your ability to remember something in the future. And the way you do this is just literally by telling yourself that you are going to remember to do a reality check the next time you are active or awake. And this can be something that you practice throughout the day if you want to, like an affirmation or just repeating it to yourself. But because you are going back to sleep at a time where your REM sleep is likely to be very stable, and when you've not actually had your REM sleep in that cycle yet, you're very likely to become lucid. And this is why this technique can help you become lucid in less than one minute or so. It is going to take that bit of background work just to prepare yourself, set the alarm, and then when you wake up and actually try the technique, from the point where you wake up and then go back to sleep, the whole process should take less than one minute and that's why this is how you can induce a lucid dream in one minute. Now some tips for the making this work better or more effectively is you need to make yourself tired during the day. So if you can exercise, go for a run, go for a jog, do some yoga, uh, or even just do some strength training or cardio, that will really help to make sure that you enter deep sleep faster and that when you go to sleep, you're actually gonna fall asleep fast enough that you can have that one or two sleep cycles before you're woken up by this alarm. You can also meditate during the day if you want to as well. Uh, if you do meditate, you know, at least 10 minutes would be uh, the ideal length of time. Between 10 and 30 minutes is an ideal length of time to meditate per day. And this will, that will make it more likely that you will actually lucid dream in one minute using this technique. Now doing this, there is a chance you'll enter sleep paralysis. And this is where you're basically, your body paralyzes your muscles and makes sure that you can't act out your dreams physically. This happens to everybody and it's really nothing to worry about. However, if you are scared about this, there are some tips and tricks on my channel which will help you to just become more used to the idea and prepared for what to do if you do experience sleep paralysis. Now, if you've tried this technique or if you've tried other techniques and you just can't seem to get lucid dreaming to work for you, if nothing you try is working, even though you know how to do it, and you know how it's supposed to work, nothing you try is actually making you have a lucid dream, then I have a really good solution for you, and that is the Lucid Breakthrough course, which is a complete high quality video course that I've created specifically for people who have already tried to lucid dream. They've already tried techniques, you know how it works, you know what you're supposed to practice, but for whatever reason, it's not working. And so I go through each of the most common mistakes and things that are probably holding you back. The things that I've learned over teaching thousands of students all around the world, and I explain how you can basically troubleshoot those things and avoid doing those mistakes. It's a really specific course, only for people who have already tried the lucid dream and nothing that you've tried has worked yet. 
So if you do want to check that out, make sure to click the link in the description. And like I said, that is the Lucid Breakthrough course. And then just finally, I would love if you could leave a comment letting me know three things. I want you to tell me the funniest thing, the most practical thing, and also the craziest thing that you want to experience in a lucid dream. I will also shout them out on my Instagram story as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.